how to create a donation form in wordpress hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create a donation form in wordpress so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first what you want to do is sign up into your wordpress website and over here as you can see this is the dashboard now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and straight up jump into the plugin section over here and we're going to add a new plugin simply click on add new plugin and it's going to take you over to the plugin section over here where you can find different plugins so over here we're going to search for a plugin called give and if i search for give over here click on enter as you can see we have this plugin over here uh, give WP donation plugins and this is the first one over here and as you can see we have more than a hundred thousand plus active installations with over 500 reviews so we're gonna go ahead and install this plugin wait for it to be installed and then we're going to activate it so give it a couple of seconds and as you can see it has been installed now we're gonna activate it and we click on activate and boom it's gonna you know activate the plugin it's gonna take us back to this dashboard where we'll get up and start setting up our donation box so simply click on start setup it's gonna ask us what our organization is so it can be individual organization or others so choose whichever one you want and we have what are your fundraising for we have our option over here we have health political religions uh, advocacy education everything so what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose uh, you know uh, with an organization or for others we're gonna choose others and we are you know fundraising for the education all right and over here as you can see at the top we have our cause we have our location features preview and add-ons so once we've done this we're just going to click on accept and continue now they're asking us where our fundraiser is going to be so we're going to choose united states and we're just going to choose you know any province anything and we're going to choose the currency as you can see over here once that's done simply click on continue and they are going to ask us what do you need for our first donation so we need a donation goal all right we can have anonymous donation as well and we can have terms and condition and company donations if we feel like it so you can choose whichever one you want but i'm feeling good about these three so we're going to choose these three and click on continue now we have our checkout first donation form over here it's going to load up and give us a preview of what our donation is going to look like wait a couple of seconds for it to load up and install everything necessary then we can move on to the next step okay it's taking a little while i don't know why so we're just going to skip this and click on continue and see it how it looks like at the end so we're going to click on continue and now we have our add-ons what else do you need to support your cause we have donors cover fee pdf receipts multiple currencies custom forms dedicated donations and recurring donations so we could use like recurring donations if we want you know people like to you know donate and we'll have a pdf receipts as well so once that's done we just simply click on continue and boom we're done now it's going to come over here and we're going to connect our you know payment settings over here so we have paypal or stripe whichever one works for you and then we have the third one we can level up our fundraising you know we have these options in front of us so once that's done we can move over to the next step so right now this is the donations let's go ahead and click on the setup and we'll go back over here let's click on all forms over here on the left side and it'll show us all of the forms that are ready so this is the form that is ready right now so as you can see this is the minimum amount to the maximum amount all right this is the short code and we have public it all right and we have reports over here we have our donors over here settings and tools and everything and then we have our add-ons so that's how it looks like now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a donation form so what we'll do is we'll go over here onto the all form section over here click on all forms and we have our form over here as you can see we already have one created now we'll need to create a new form as well so we'll just go ahead and simply edit this out we'll just simply click on edit and it'll open up this part of the website as you can see over here this is the link and over here this is how everything looks like so we can go ahead and edit it this is the donation form we can go ahead and change the title of it as well and we have our templates over here as you can see the primary fonts the decimal amounts we have our introduction over here this is going to be the headline support our cause you can change that we can have our description over here we have our images over here and then we have the donate button which is called the donate now button over here then we have the header label choose amount and over here we have the content you can choose everything over here you can edit everything you want all of that is for you to decide once that's done you just simply have to click on update and save and then over here on the uh, right side we have other settings over here as you can see we have customizer settings we have box we have some disable sections over here we have our transparent header as well everything looks good 
and once that's done we can move on with two donation options over here so over here as you can see this is like the minimum donation is five dollars so for example if anyone wants to you know donate less than five dollars they can't donate they have to be a minimum you know five dollars and as you can see we have custom amounts which is enabled and which means that people can you know donate whatever they feel like it but the minimum is five dollars and the maximum is this one over here so we have our custom amount over here the custom amount text button is going to say custom amount then the amount over here as you can see we have donation levels we have our default we have our donation level 2 25 50 like all of these and we can even add more levels over here as well and once everything is done just simply click on update and it'll save next we have our form fields and over here we have everything that we need so we have our name title prefix it's global option it's you know required optional disabled if you want we have our company donations it's disabled right now last name field required the global option or optional it all depends on you we even have a registration and we chose none over here we don't need any registration or if you want you can even add registrations it all depends on you next we have our donation goal so as you can see this is our donation goal and we have our progress bar over here we can change the color of the progress bar i'm going to change it to something like blue over here we slide this over here it's blue now there we go blue bar is set over here as you can see and once everything is done we have also our terms and conditions over here if you want to add some terms and conditions it all depends on you and since we don't have any offline donations as well we've disabled that you can even turn it on it all depends on you and then we have email notifications as well so everything looks good everything looks perfect just simply click on update boom you're set to go now that that's done now what we can do is we can go ahead and publish this so we'll just go ahead and click on setup over here and we have our forms over here first we need to like copy the short code over here so we'll just copy this short code as you can see and then we'll go over to pages and we'll click on add new page you know we're going to create a new page and over here what we're going to do is we're going to edit it with elementor so over here we're going to click on edit with elementor wait a couple of seconds for it to be loaded all right this is the page over here first what we're going to do is we're going to add a new section over here which looks like something like this and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a inner section over here as well and once we've done that as you can see this is the inner section now what we'll do is we'll also add another option which is called short code so we'll just search for short code and we have this section over here the short code section bar we'll just paste it over here and over here we'll just paste our you know short code that we copied and we give it a few seconds and click on apply changes all right and click on publish so as you can see this is the donation box over here wait a couple of seconds for it to be loaded up and once that's done we are good to go and we can even move it anywhere we like it all depends on you so over here we have our columns as well we have our sections and everything once that's done we are good to go um i don't know why it's still loading up it's been quite a while but it's still loading up i don't understand why but i'm sure that if you are you know doing it i don't know maybe it's my internet uh it's very really slow right now but you know usually it's done by now and everything is good to go so let me just try another way see if it works you know let me just try to edit it let me just multi-step form let me just deactivate this all right we can add a new form as well so maybe that will help so let's go ahead and create a new form from scratch and i will show you when it's done and don't worry the process is going to be exactly the same so don't worry about that all right it's just gonna you know make sure that you guys can see how it looks like once it's added up because right now it's still loading i don't know why so let me just create a new form from the scratch yeah i think it is definitely my internet connection because it just keeps loading up i don't know why uh we can't get a real preview out of it but i'm sure that once you have you know followed these steps you've created a form you've added it to your wordpress website it should probably work and it should give you the proper form i don't know why it's not working for me so thank you guys for watching and i hope this video gives you a little bit of insight on what it is so thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye